Ako si Dr. Edgardo Tulin, presidente sa Visaya State University. Para na ako, DYDCFM Good Co. Ikaw sabha, Radio Kalambuan Good Na. Let X be a number which exceeds its square by the greatest possible quantity. Then X is equal to... Okay class, what will happen if you mix three pieces of kamote, two pieces of saba, and one piece of gabi? Ilang kamote ang kakainin mo? Ma'am, it will become ginataan or binignit. Well... Three pieces pa din ang kamote ang kakainin ko. <laughs> Listen to Matsaya with Sir Raymond. Only here at DYDCFM 104.7, your development campus radio. 104.7, DYDCFM. Alright, alright mga ka-DYDC, mga ka-jantihan nga na minokon. Good afternoon. Time check is 4 in the afternoon. Mag-uban-uban na po kita suno o sulod sa osaka oras. Dini nga tong programang Matsaya with Sir Raymond. Alright, alright, alright. Good afternoon. Today is November 13, 2020. Adlaw nga biyernes. So, gusto na po kayo pagtulunan once again. Ang ato paghisgutan. O ato pag uh, unsan na siya. Uh, katunan, no? Sulod sa Osaka Uras. Alright, so before tayo mag-start, allow me to greet a happy, happy, happy birthday. Sa tanan-tanan nga nag sa ulong sila mga alam na tawahan karoon. And uh, good afternoon also no sa ato mga faculty and staff nga namin karon dinhi sa ato uh, istasyon o sa ato tong haan o sa Visayas University o labi na sa ako mga kasyantihan nga namin karon o okay this is other uh, uh, remaining lesson i guess or remaining lesson for the midterm uh, period o uh, so pamino mo diha pag maayo kay uh, next week no midterm examination na po eh ang ato pag uh, ato banguan Right, once again, our topic for today, we'll be talking about markup, markdown, and commission. Oh, so later on, natin mga examples nga ito yung panghatag. Wato niya explain further ang kanisyang uh, topic or kanisyang uh, lesson. Alright, so stay tuned lang mo diha, ah. Walking down the road one day, happy 
Once again, no time check us 409 the afternoon. Uh-huh. Once again, welcome to our program. This is Matsaya with Sir Raymond. Our topic for this afternoon will be talking about markup and markdown. And uh, yeah, not a bonus topic about commission. 
Oh, so this is very applicable sa labi na kato naman nag-start lang no sila mga business. Oh, basig makatabang niya ninyo para unsaon ka ang mga dapat nga buhaton or unsa ang mga butang no what are the things that we should consider uh, especially uh, na in putting up a business. Yes, so oh, we are live via YouTube, so you can uh, find me no sa ato, uh, YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube channel. <laughs> and uh, we have yeah, we have five viewers uh, at the moment. No, thank you, thank you so much. Ilabi na sa ako makajantihan diha karon yana mina. Oh, good afternoon. All right, so let's start our uh, discussion now on markup and markdown. So let's uh, present our learning outcomes and objectives for this afternoon. So we'll be talking about, or we are going to, after no one-hour discussion, we, are, we should be able to define markup and markdown. And then compute the markup and markdown of goods. Solve problems involving markup and markdown. Define and illustrate different types of commission. And lastly, solve problems involving commissions. Alright, so in business, expenses are divided into two major categories. The cost of goods and the operating expenses. So these are the two major types of uh, uh, expenses, no? Or uh, yeah, two major categories, no? Sa, sa business that you have to consider. Ang mga costs sa ato goods, kung pila man ang ato gi, uh, gi capital, no, Ana? And then we have also to consider our operating expenses. These operating expenses include, uh, but not limited to... Um, the maintenance, your building, your bills, electric bills, your utilities, uh, the salary or wage you know, sa inyong mga workers, transportation, advertisement, promotion, and marketing. So those are just some no, of your operating expenses. So before you can get or before you will add a markup or you will, you will subtract a markdown, from your goods, you have to consider first how much ang imo gi hatag no nga capital for that kind of business. Kay basig niya og uh, malugi ta. So cost is the price of a merchandising company pays for a product. Okay, so probably this uh, lesson might be uh, very helpful no sa katong mga nagbuy and sell no nga negosyo diha karon. Uh, dili man lang gunta basta-basta nga mupalit sa ato mga produkto o niya ato ibaligya. Kasi for example, ato siya gipalit og 10 pesos o niya ato siya ibaligya og 15 pesos. It doesn't mean that you have a markup of 5 pesos, meaning nakaginan siya, nakaana. Because first, again, you have to consider your expenses so that you would be able to determine kung naa ba kay profit no sa imo negosyo dili lang kay basta-basta kamo patong no og uh, amount kay basig nya og gamay ra na siya or it might also no nga dako ra na siya o nya wala na hino imo palit anang imo negosyo or imo mga produkto so mark up is the difference between the selling price and the cost price okay so uh, all you have to do is to subtract no your price kung pila man ang imo pagpalit ana og sa imo pagbaligya so sa ako gingon gani nga example kasi for example if you bought a product uh, original cost niya is only 10 pesos and tapos imo siya gibaligya og balik for 15 pesos so 15 minus 10 that's 5 pesos meaning 5 pesos is your markup no meaning mao na ang imo gitubo no sa imo uh, product nga imo gibaligya Markup is added to cost to cover the operating expenses and provide a profit to the owners. So, sa ako pagkikaingon ganiha, this is very important in uh, especially no sa mga small business uh, or sa kanang bag-ulang nag uh, tukod sa ilang mga kaugalin nga mga business diha. Ah. So, uh, this is the very important no that you have to consider your expenses para makaingon ka no that uh, your cost 
or your selling price is enough already to compensate your expenses. We can express markup as a percent or markup rate. Okay, so we can also show it by basing on cost and also basing it on a selling price. And it comes as no surprise when I'm down and now, how to find the amount of markup? Okay, so let's start now with our discussion. So let's uh, begin with our example here on screen. We have what is the markup on an article that sells for 37 pesos and costs for 25 pesos? So again, to find the amount of markup, it's very easy. Going back to our definition, to find the markup, all you have to do is to get the difference no, of your uh, original price and your selling price. So our selling price is 37 and the cost price is 25. So 37 minus 25, that is 12 pesos. Alright, so 12 pesos ang imogi markup. After considering no, the factors, the expenses, Okay, so, uh, and of course, no, kung pila po na siya ka-items ang imo produkto, kana mag-matter po na siya kung if, if you bought your goods or your product in bulk, then I guess, sa ato gikaingon pa last week, no, or sa ato last uh, discussion, we were able to discuss about discount, no? So, makasave po ka na if you are going to buy your goods in bulk. Alright, hello to our uh, viewers, no, to Sir Buwan Andrade and to Miss Perlene Fernandez na ay pangutan na nga rin si Miss Fer Perlene. Pila ka percent man ang dapat i-mark up, sir, sa product para enough rasad nga makaginan siya. Alright, sa ako pagkikayong gani ha, there's no uh, exact no amount for that. Kay. Again, magdepende na siya kung pila ang imog capital. And you have also to consider the expenses like the, the bills, the... Uh, the maintenance, the transportation. Now, after considering all of these uh, factors or uh, operating and uh, cost expenses, then kana pwede na niyo determine kung pila dapat ang imo ipatong, no, imo i-mark up. So, let's say for example, uh, ganiha, no, ten pesos ang imo original price. Pila kaha ang imo uh, dapat ipatong? Let's say ang imo gi gipalit nga items is one thousand pieces. No, 1,000 pieces o oh, i-times na ni mo og 10 pesos. So, naan na kay uh, 10,000. No, so naan na kay 10,000. Capital pa lang na siya. Cost price pa lang na siya. No, cost expenses pa lang na siya. Now, how about the transportation expenses? How about the maintenance, marketing and promotion? Pila man imo na gasto? And then, sa imo mga sweldo, sa imo mga tawo, unsa pa na diha, a tax, building permits, renta, no, tanan-tanan expenses. You have to add all of this and then uh, i total i add na nimo sa imo cost price og sa imo mga expenses and then uh, ana na ka maka decide og pila dapat ang imo i patong no nga price para naa kay ginansya. Okay? It doesn't mean nga ni patong ka na ana ka gipatong nga presyo, it doesn't mean no dili siya automatic nga maka ginansya ka ana. No kay later on we will uh, identify no kung naa kay profit net profit or basig na akay maka-experience ka og loss and then kung magkanunay ni bayani ang loss mahimo na siya nga bankruptcy okay so manang careful ta ana right finding the markup rate based on cost again so ako pagkikayong gani we have two methods on how to find the markup rate it it should be in on based based sa cost or based ba siya sa selling price so, kung based on cost siya, in this method, we have to answer the question, what percent of the cost is the markup? No, pila man siya ka percent kung ang imo basihan is ang markup. No, ang, ang amount nga imo gi-add. So, using the previous problem, katong na uh, 37, no, katong 37 and 25. So, using the same problem, the rate of markup would be equal to the amount of markup over the cost price because we are basing our rate of markup based on cost. So our denominator here will be the cost price multiplied by 100 and so we can get uh, 12 over 25 times 100 that is equivalent to 48%. How about based on selling price? So in this method, we have to answer the question, what percent of the selling price is the markup? 
no so karon ang ato na po denominator selling price na po no so that's amount of markup which is equal to 12 over the selling price which is 37 times 100 so the rate of markup there is 32.43% Okay, so we have a uh, word problem, no? An example here. John paid 56 pesos for an article and sold it for 70 pesos. The question is, how much, no, is the markup made by John? So, again, you have to find the difference only, no? 70 minus 56, so that's 14. Alright? So, again, careful, no? Ako balik-balik kon. You have to consider first... No, the expenses before marking up your goods. So mark up rate based on cost is 14 over 56 times 100. That's 25 percent. And if it is based on selling price, that's over 70 na. No, mag differ lang siya sa denominator. Kaya depende man siya kung asa siya ni mo gibe sa cost price or sa selling price. So that's 20 percent. So meaning, ang imo da agi mark up no, ang ang buto sa buto nang 25 og 20%, no? Kanang 25% meaning ana 25% ang imo gi-increase sa imo goods nga gibaligya kung imo gi-base sa iya original price. Ang kanang 20% naman is your rate nga imo gi-increase kung imo na pud siya i-base sa imo selling price. Right, so naaman na yung, um, una man, kuan man na siya, part of the marketing strategy na siya para, you know, anaman na siya sa, kuan pa na, sa business pa daw, murag na psychology pa daw, ana, no, kada bang murag ilad-ilad, <laughs> ilad-ilad sa ato mga suki o mga customers. <laughs> right, so uh, how, how to find the selling price when cost and markup rate are known? So, for example, the dealer paid 1,900 for a stove. What is the selling price if the markup is 40% of the cost. So, based on cost, ha, meaning ang ato denominator here will be coming from the cost, which is that's that, uh, which is 1,900. And markup is 40% of the selling price. So, for letter A, again, given tang uh, na atay 40% ng, uh, rate, then 1,900 ang uh, original cost. So, amount of markup there is 4 or 0. 0.4 times uh, 1,900, so that's 760. So, the selling price now, kaya ang imo gi markup is 760 naman, imo na siya i-add sa imo original cost. So, kung imo na siya ibalig ya o balik, no, kay buy and sell man imo negosyo, so mahimo siya nga 2,600. Oo, so ay lang saba. <laughs> nga mauna ang imo gi markup, no? Oh, oh. <laughs> so mo na siya ang imo gitubo 760 but again the 760 is not automatically mean nga mao na ang imo ginan siya no oo oh, oh. kay again imo pa man na ibanan sa imo mga expenses now for selling price so cost plus cost price plus markup so we have to use the complementary method or the complement method so 100 minus 40 because we are given 40% so that's 60, no? So 1, 9 over 0. 0.6. Okay, 60% naman lang nahabilin. So that's 3,166.69. Okay, so kung pangutan on ka, ah, okay, mag, mag mark up ko og 40% from or based on the cost price. So pila man ang imo karon presyo? The answer is 2,600. Pero kung mayong ka, okay, ang ako i-increase sa ako good is 40% based on the selling price. So, ang imo karon nga presyo will become 3,166.69. Pero again, no, you have also to consider your customers or your clients. No, you have to consider your uh, locality. Basta magpalabi ka og tubo no, sa imo pag-mark up sa imo mga goods. Unya dili na afford sa imo mga kliyente diha sa inyo uh, community. Oo. So pero kung naaka sa mga medyo syudad no or medyo mga datuon no o medyo nakaluag-luag then probably no para mas madali ang imo pag uh, balik sa imo mga puhunan then you can ano you can increase probably your markup. 
Mm-hmm. So, imo po na i-consider. Dili kay mo na ang ilagay mo, dili ta magpalabi sa ato gibati. <laughs> so, manang tamang-tama lang. Naka na ganing nga maka-benefit ta kay makaginansya ta at the same time maka-benefit pod no ang ato mga kliyente although kahibaw sila nga nitubo pero kana pa ba ila haguan nga muadto sa layong lugar para paliton ang ila gusto mapalit diha akanin mo di ba oh, so ana mamura win win situation na siya so manang ato i-consider nga naka-benefit ka nakatabang pud ka sa imo mga customers So, an example here, a t-shirt sold in a local store for 500 pesos. What was the cost of the markup of 30% based on the selling price and the 30% based on cost? So, our solution here for letter A, so that selling price minus the markup, so 500 minus the 30% times the 500 pesos. So, the cost now is 350, meaning... Before na niya gibaligya, iya na siya gipalit no sa manufacturer baka ron, or sa wholesaler nga store. Iya na napalit sa amount nga 350 pesos. Okay, so niya iya gibaligya og 500 pesos. Kung based po na ang cost price based or ang uh, based on cost, so that's 384.62. Alright, so naa tay special uh, item no nga rin nga ato i-discuss ab- about aning marking perishables. So unsa man ni mga perishable nga mga goods? Mao ni siya ang kanaganing dali ra madaot, dali ra ma-expire, dali ra malata. Basta uh, a short period of time lang dapat makonsume na ni siya. Oo, and that's why you have to really do well sa inyong marketing and promotion para mahalin siya og dali. And uh, kahit kung di man siya mahali, no, niya ma-expire na lang siya or madaot siya, meaning loss na siya para ni mo. Kay ma- kuan naman siya, ma-appeal naman siya sa mga expenses, kumbaga. No, kay wala man siya mahalin on niya, you bought that goods, di ba? Or those goods, no, imo na siya gipalit, so nag-hatag uh, kag capital ana, on niya. Dili siya mahalin tungod kay nalata na lang siya, o niya na-expired na siya, or nadaot siya, no? So, maon siya nga, you have to do well talaga sa imo marketing and promotion. Okay, para mahalin siya. That's why, uh, one of which, na ito discuss last meeting about discount, no? Giving of discount, one way, no? One reason why naghatag sila discount is because uh, siguro kana siya nga item is already old stock. Para lang makabalik lang sila, makabreak even lang sila sa ilang mga capital. Alright, so in business, there are some products mang good nga mo perish, ako pa yung gaingan niya, perish in a short time if they are not sold. No, examples of these are bananas. Di ba niya? Uh, many of our uh, stores or our uh, kanang mga businesses, no? Nga kanang uh, nagbaligya uh, aning mga saging, no? Or mga prutas are coming from different fr- provinces. Dili kay sa ato community or sa ato locality. Diba? Ang uban, gikan pa sa Davao, gikan pa sa o sa pangalugara. O niya, uh, ibiyahe, ano, per, two to three days. Diba? So, that's why naa sila uh, i-consider, Anna. Diba? So, cakes, diba? Kay malanay na siya or malata siya. Chocolates, right? So, daghan pang mga ice creams, diba? So, kani sila mga perishables ni sila nga mga goods. And uh, you have to sell these goods no uh, dali dali para dili mausik no ang imo capital or imo money so in this situation we have a different view of market marking up the groceries so man ako giyong ganihang uh, we have a special type of marking uh, uh, goods no for perishable goods dili ni siya pareha sa ganihan no nga normal lang siya like ang kana mga uh, RTW to nga mga goods siguro dili man na siya dali dali madaot di ba pwede pa man na bisag uh, Uh, one year, di ba, or months, uh, no? Oo, so, pwede pa na siya, di pa na siya madaot. But for perishables, no, ng mga goods, I guess you have to uh, to make uh, ka ng marketing and promotion nga uh, nindot kaayo. So, on saan man yung pag-mark up, no, kung nagbaligya ka o mga ing-aning ang mga produkto. Alright, so here's the strategy, no, for that. So, in, uh, for example, 
Marwell Abanas bought 100 pieces of bananas at 0.75 pesos per banana. Right? So, iya gibalig or iya gipalit, no? Nakapalit siya o gasaging. Ang buok sa saging is only 0.75. Experience indicates or research or experience or uh, sa iyong mga na-observe, no? That about 10% of these will spoil. So, na ay 10% aning, no? Sa iyong ipalita. Expected nga madaot, malata or uh, madugmok, no? At what price per banana must Marwell price to obtain a markup of 50% on cost? Alright, so on saan man na siya? So solution for that, uh, we have uh, to determine first ang cost niya, no? Which is na ay 100 pieces ka banana. O niya, imo na siya i-multiply sa 0.75. So ang iyan na bayran is 75 pesos. And that 75 pesos is your original cost or your capital, no? Your cost. Banana that will spoil given is 10% no from the 100 pieces no of bananas nga imo gipalit so pila man ang 10% to man man tang discuss og percentages di ba oh so you have now the uh, the idea no on how to get the 10% of 100 and the 10% of 100 is 10 bananas meaning expected no pasalamat lang ta kung uh, Uh, dili madaot ang napulo pero murabag ang ilagingon pa lang ana murag nag anticipate na ta kumbaga no ato na lang gi-expect kay para dili ta malugi so ato i-expect the worst thing to happen so the worst thing to happen there is na ay 10 pieces nga banana out of 100 ang madaot so ato na na siya i-consider nga kanang uh, rejected na na siya nga item no So, ang ato na lang i-count ka ron nga ang imo na lang pwede nga itinda is not 100 pieces but only 90 pieces na lang. Kaya nagdidak naman ka og 10 kabuo. So, the selling price would become 75. No? Mauna ako yung imo i-consider ang original price. Okay? 75 plus the 75 pieces times 50. Nga no 50 because that is 50%. No? Ang given diha ha is 50% on the cost. Right? So, 50% of your 75, so that is equal to 112.5 for all bananas. Right? So, kunain mo palit niya o 100 pieces, iyan na ibalig niya o 112.5. Okay? So, nakaginan siya siya, di ba? So, the price per banana will become 1.25. So, ang sa una, kung naay mo palit, ang iya pagpalit originally, that's only 0.75. This time, if Marwell will sell the banana per, ano, uh, uh, per item or each, banana will cost 1.25. So, nakatubo siya, di ba? So ing ana no ing ana ang way no on sa on pag uh, mark uh, no pag uh, on how to mark your uh, perishable goods. And let's proceed now to mark down. Right so mark down is a decrease in the price of goods. So somewhat a discount no. This almost the same no almost the same shag idea sa discount. Kaya ang discount mangod mo raga nag-less pod siya, di ba? Oo. So, ang markup, kung nagpatubo ka sa imo original price, then sa imo markdown, imo gi-decrease. Probably, uh, nag-decrease ka for particular kind of good. It's because, um, suki ni mo, or para lang mahurot na siya, no, kay na old stock na, or whatsoever. Di ba? So, meaning, uh, Or imo i-dispose na ang mga lisod mahalin, no? Lisod mahalin yung mga goods. So it is a means of, or it is mean of moving old merchandise. Kaya mga old stock na kay, kay kaya naman kung madugay na itong stock, basing madunot na lang na siya niya, madaot ra, di ba? Stimulating sales, disposing of hard to sell goods, or damaged merchandise. Simo na nag-markdown siya. O nag-markdown ang ubang mga item, makakita ninyo nga, Ayo pag-expect nga kasagaran ana or ang imo mapalit kay mga 
pulido pa jud no kasag tungod kay markdown na siya nay uban ang akan agani nga na anay mga defect no na anay mga daot-daot pero magamit gihapon siya di ba o kana kay gibaligya na agi na siya magamitan pero dili na siya kanang 100% good quality kumbaga ing ana no siguro for example ang tasa oo na na na, 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 na buak ang gunitanan magamit to na siya kay ma, 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 basta dilang buak no ang iya kanang uh, container niya o, ma, mabutangan pa man na siya ga tubig di ba oo pero wala na siya gunitanan <laughs> oo pero magamit ang gihapon siya or himuon na siya og kanang uh, pot no sa inyong mga tanom di ba so at least di ba nagamit ang gihapon siya mo nang gi markdown lang siya so mo na ang uban nga mga uh, merchandisers Oo, nag-markdown sila is because to stimulate sales para mas mudaghan ang ilahalin or ila dispose ang kanang uh, lisod, no? mahalin nga mga produkto or even ang mga damage nga mga merch. Again, kanil mga damage, yung dilipot sabot nga kanang di na dyan magamit. Naalay defect, uh, kanang mga ginagmay lang nga defect nga pwede pa siya magamitan sa lain nga mga butang. Alright, so kung ang markup kay mag-add ka sa markdown pod, mag-subtract. No? So, mauna siya. So, the rate of markdown is uh, equal to the amount of markdown over the original selling price times 100. And the markdown is the difference between your original selling price and your actual selling price. So if a coat that initially sold for 100 pesos was marked down to 75, find the markdown and the percent of markdown. So for letter A, markdown will become 100 minus 75. That's 25 pesos. So nag markdown kag 25 pesos. And then the rate of markdown would be 25 over 100 times 100. That's 25 percent. So nag markdown ka og 25 percent. So manang imugin ngato oh markdown or discounted 25 percent sale. Nyan ba no? So if the base, if it is based on actual selling price, so that's three or that's 33 percent, no? Another example is that Janice wanted to clear some lady suit that was marked 750.5. If they were reduced by 20%, what is now the new selling price or the sales price? Okay, so kuha lang ni mo 20% ang 750. So you multiply. So that's 150.10, and then the new selling price now would become the difference, no? Eh, mula kisa subtract to 750 minus 150, that's 600.4. So nakasave sila kaya nagmarkdown. What is the original a new selling price on a dress that was reduced 56.5 or 10 percent? Okay, so that's 56.5 over 0.10. You convert percent to decimal. So the original selling price is 565. So the new selling price now is 565 minus 56.5. That is equivalent to 508.5. Now let's proceed. Oh, mana aku yang gani hanga maka kanus amang kama ka experience or profit or loss. No, after considering the expenses, the cost expenses, the operating expenses. No, imu i total tanan imu halin minus sa tanang expenses. Kung naay mahabilin, then that will be your profit. Pero kung walay mahabilin, then you have loss. Oh, oh, so gross profit is the selling price minus the cost price, and the gross profit would be the operating expenses plus the net profit, or simply the net profit or loss. Again, it's just equal to the gross profit minus all of your expenses. So if your gross profit is lesser than your cost of operating the business, then the net loss occurs. So ano siya, kung walay mahabilin sa imo kwarta or nag-negative ka, then you experience loss. Right? So maana siya ang imo uh, timanon. 
no so again uh, imo um, you add all of your uh, money no nga ni sud no that's uh, cash inflow ni mo onya minus ani mo sa tanan nimo nga mga expenses kung naay mahabilin then you have profit kung negative ang answer then you have loss Right, so mao na siya. Nga, mao na nga, kung mag 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 months, magsikag ka loss, then uh, probably, no, ma-bankrupt na ka. Okay? Okay lang siguro maka-zero, maka-break even lang ka, no? Igo lang ka makabawi, kontra anang loss. Pero mas lami, Jude, paminahon kung nakaginan siya ka, di ba? Naka-profit ka. So, if a company earned a net profit of 3... Uh, 376,000. Uh, no, this is 376 million. Yeah, so this is 376 or 3.3.76 million. And operating expenses amounted to 2 million. Oh, this is million. So it's a typographical error. So gross profit is uh yeah, 2 million 15,450 plus the net profit of 376,440. So your gross profit now is 2,302,440. Ah, so naan na kay uh, net profit. By the way, kanin net profit sa ato term, maunin gingo na itong alimpyo, no? Limpyo, pero may limpyo ni mo. Meaning, imo na na siya giibanan, no? Sa mga deductions. Let's say, for example, mo, sweldo ka. O pila may imo, sweldo di, ay, limpyo nga sweldo. Kaya na di huga. <laughs> Bitaw na ay limpyo. O, manang kitawag itong alimpyo, manang kitawag nga net profit. Pila man ang imo take home pay, kung baga, no? Ang imo ka na bang giiba na natanan sa so manang imo net. Ang kanang gross, ang tanan-tanan pa na siya nga money nimo nga wala pay iban. Another example, Johnson Brothers sold floor furniture for 130 million for which they paid 84.5 million. They realized a net profit of 8% on sales. So nakaginan siya sila, naka net profit sila og 8%. What were their gross profit and operating expenses on their furnaces? Okay, so the selling price again is 130 million. Kumbaga mao na ang gross profit nila, tanan-tanan nila nga kwarta. The cost price ang ilagi uh, gasto no sa pagpalit sa produkto is 84.5 million. Unya naka net profit sila on sales nga 8%. So, pila man ang imo gross profit. So, that is uh, 130 million ang sales ni mo minus the cost price which is 84.5. So, naang kay gross profit nga 45.5 million. Alright? Unyan, ingin man nga itong 8% daw sa 130 million ang imo net Profit. So multiplying no 8% sa 130 million, so that's 10.4 million. Meaning, kanang 10.4 million is ang limpyo na ni mo nga ginansya, no? Ang kanang 45.5 million is ang uh, bilit pa na siya limpyo, wala pa iban. So meaning, ang imo operating expenses would be 45.5 million minus the net profit of 10.4 million. So naa kay mga gasto no mga operating expenses mao na ni ang mga transportation, mga utilities, mga bills, mga salary and wages nga 35.10 million. Imagine di ba o oh, kung dagko ang company so naa na kay million million unya kani siya per month lang ni. No? So dako na kaayo. Alright, so let's proceed to the last topic. We have uh, kanisha moraga uh, add on lang nino kaning commission. I am sure na makakadaghan na tana kabati aning word na commission. And probably in business or uh, in uh, profession or sa mga trabaho, ang kanisha commission probably kano nito mabati an kung ikaw agent ka, sales agent ka, or gitawag nato nga broker, no kanang ina or kanaganing maga uh, ikaw ang magtinda no of sa produkto niya. Uh, kung makatinda ka, anang item na akay komisyon, na akay uh, 
portion sa katong imo na tinda nga mao ang imo mahimong sweldo. So a commission is a way of compensating or compensation mainly used to pay employees who sell the company's commodities or services. So uh, very concrete example for this, no kay especially mga tumog mga malls, di ba na mo sugat ninyo, mo offer din ninyo mga flyers, no mga flyers o unsa pa na diha ang mga papila. Oh sir, pagkuha na mo pag low na mo sir og house and lot, car. Oo, oh, sana all na ay car. <laughs> di ba so na ang anak kay kung uh, siya nga agent unya makapalit ka, maka-avail ka no niya na siya commission ato kung pila man gani ang amount ana nga house and lot or amount ana nga uh, car. So the commission is determined by multiplying the number of sales by the commission rate. So kanang commission rate is magdepende na siya sa inyo gisabutan no sa agency or sa company. So before ka ni sign sa contract, you have first to read nyo your terms and conditions sa inyo kontrata kung pila man ang imo commission rate. A person or a firm that represents a company to transact transact business for other is an agent or commission merchant or ako yung ganiha broker. So the company for whom the agent has the power to act called the principal. Alright, so we have different types of commission. So mo ani siya. So siguro kung before ka mo sulod ug mga kompanya nga ni offer og mga commission, so imo sa pangutanon unsa na siya nga type of commission sir ang inyo ika-offer? Is it straight commission? So unsa man ning straight commission? So the straight commission is the first type of commission. So in this type the salesperson earning or wage is based on his or her commission alone. So meaning, kung wala kay matinda, wala kay sweldo. So dapat maning kamot jud ka nga daghan kag mabaligya no sa imo mga uh, customer, right? So commission is equal to the commission rate sa inyo nasabutan sa agency or sa company times the amount of sales kung pila man ang imo na tinda. So the amount of sales is equal to the commission over the commission rate and the commission rate is equal to the commission over the amount of sales. So derivation of formula lang na siya. So again, kani siya nga type of commission is just magdepende lang siya kung pila ang imo na baligya, no? Kung pila ang imo na baligya. So kung wala kay nabaligya ang adlaw, wala kay sweldo. Kung wala kay nabaligya for the whole month, wala kay sweldo. So man ang dapat maning kamot ka kay ang imo wage or imo salary will dip depend on how many or the amount of your sales. Example, Jasper has a commission rate of 4%. If a piece of property sells for 740,000 pesos, what is his commission? So the commission rate there is 4%. You convert that one to decimal point zero four. The amount of sales is 740,000 so the commission now is uh, multiplying no the 740,000 times 0.04 that is equal to 29,600. So ang iya madawat ana lang nga sale is 29,600. O di ba? Kung makasale kag usa ka adlaw, meaning sa usa ka adlaw na na kay sweldo nga 29,600. Oo, so nang pasurti ay jud na siya or uh, di lang sa swerte siguro kanang kugi, no? Kugi lang jud na siya. The second type of commission is the incremental commission or graduated commission. So meaning ka na magtikataas, no? Oo. So in this uh, type of commission, uh, a commission is given to a salesperson who do not receive a regular salary and their commission rate increases as the sales volume increases. So kung magtikataas ang imo commission rate, kung magtikataas po ang imo sales. This type of commission has a higher compensation than the straight commission. Each commission is computed one at a time and added together to obtain the total commission. Example for this. So given commission rate is uh, 3%, level 2, 2%, level 3, 5%. So using an incremental commission schedule, we determine the pay of each level and then get the sum of all levels. So level pay sells per level times the commission rate. So level 1, for example, na 80,000 nga sales. Unya times 0 0.03. So sa first level, na 2,400. Sa second level, na ana po siya kay 4%. So na ana po siya 3,200. Sa third level, na ana po siya 5% ang uh, more than 160,000 so naa na siya 4,500 so ang iya commission karon imo i-add ang first to third level nga niya nga pay 
So therefore, ang iya karon pay is 10,100. The third type is the salary plus commission. Kani mo rag nindot nindot ni siya kay Uh, kumbaga, bisag wala kay halin, wala kay mabaligya, wala kay sales, automatic nga na kay madawat at the end of the month or kanus ama ang inyo ting sweldo, ang inyo payday. No? So, salary plus commission is when an agent is being paid a guaranteed salary plus a commission on a total sales made. Kumbaga, bonus lang na niya. Na siya sweldo, for example, 10,000 ang iya madawat kay abuwan, plus, no, on top of his or her salary, nga 10,000, na apa siya commission, depende na sa iya sales. So, in this type of salary structure, a certain amount of sales at the beginning of each month is usually not eligible for a commission. Example for this, Emmanuel is paid a base salary of 18,000 per month, meaning, madawat siya o 18,000, manaaman siya sales or wala. And a commission of 6% over 100 or 1.7 million each month. This month, his sales totaled to 1.5 million. What were his earnings? So given our salary is 18,000, the commission rate is 6%, percent. pero maka-avail lang siya og 6% kung ang iya sales ni abot sa quota of 1.7 million. But our problem, wala man nakaabot. So meaning, si Emmanuel cannot receive any commission. Kaya wala niya naabot ang quota. So ang iya lang madawat is only 18 pesos. No? Wala siya commission added. Pero kung nilapas siya, let's say for example, 2 million, so naa siya 300,000 nga sobra. So, ang 300,000, kuhaan na siya og 6%. Okay, ang 300,000, kuhaan ang 6%, that's 18,000. So, aside from the 18,000 per month, plus 18,000 pa dyan siya. Okay? So, nanindot, naan mo yung nakanindot sa kanisya nga type of commission, no? Kay naan na kay salary, pahalagwa kay sale, basta kay naan na kay madawan. Pero maning kamot gihapon ka kay uh, muad man na siya sa imo ano muad man siya sa imo sweldo. And the second to the last is the commission and bonus. So commission and bonus are when a salesperson is given a bonus if he or she exceeds his or her sales quota. Okay, so in cases that the sales do not exceed the prescribed quota by the company, the salesperson will not receive any bonus. Okay, so Gary Delovio receives a basic salary of $13,750. He also gets a bonus of 5% of the amount by which he goes beyond his quota of $75,000. For February, his sales amounted to $128,000. What were his total earnings? So, ni, ni Subra, no? Sa quota ang iya. So, meaning makadawa siya sa 5%. So, naa siya 13%, $750 nga salary. Okay, so ang iya pa jud commission karon will be 128 minus 75. So ni sobra siya og 53,000. So 53,000 times 0.05 that's 2,650. So ang iya karon salary would become 13,750 plus 2,650 is equal to 16,400. So mao na ang iya madawat for the month of February. And then we have the commission with override. So commission with override is when a salesperson earns a commission on his or her sales and also earns commission from the purchases of his or her representatives. Kumbaga, gitawag na ito nga networking. No? So naa siya'y madawa sa iya mga sales o niya sa mga representatives po nga under niya na po siya'y madawa at ito nga mga sales. So muna gitawag nga murag networking siya nga idea, no? So muna nga, iya d'yo dapat i-encourage, iya i-motivate ang iya mga subordinates. May paningkamot magtinda. Kaya kung naay mahalin sa iya mga subordinates, naaman siya'y share po niya makuha. So let's say for example, Chrysler Cordova receives a 6% commission on her sales. She supervises 12 sales representatives and get a 2.5% override on all purchases. The representatives made sales of 48,300 and she made sales of 9,400. What were her total earnings? So given that commission rate is 6% or 0.06, 
So ang iya sales sa iya kaugalingon, no? Iya kaugalingon pa ning kamot, that's 9,400 times the uh 6%. Okay? So that's 564. So manang commission the first commission. All right? So i-add pa na sa commission nga makuha niya sa sales sa iya representatives. So, ang representatives kay naka-salesman of 48,300, kanya 2.5% of this. So, that's equal to 1,207.5. So, ang iya commission which is 564 plus the commission nga iya makuha gikan sa iya representatives. So, naa siya total nga 1,771.5. And the last type is a draw against commission. Draw against commission is when a salesperson is being paid in advance of sales and later deducted from the commission earned. So nag-advance siya, nag-cash advance. Sir, mag-cash advance ko, sir, kay na ako'y gamitan sa ako kwarta. Unya, at uh, sa huulhi, uh, i-deduct na lang kung pila na ang iya sales. Kung na-utangan pa ba siya or naapay subra sa iya sweldo. So, the draw against commission should be lesser than the projected amount of commission. So, of course, dili kay magpalabi po ka og uh, advance na no, og kuha sa imo cash kay basig dako na hinoon kag taplo nun. So, it should be projected. Okay? So, for example, Fabi Kodal is a salesperson for Igasamas Corporation. The companies pay the company pays a 7.5% commission on sales and gives Fabi 8,000 per month. Draw against commission. If he receives his draw of the beginning at the month of the month and then sales 960,000 during the month, how much commission is owed to Febby? Alright, so on sa mato example, on sa mato pagkuha given, uh, commission rate is 7.5%. Hello to Fernando Comandante, grabe ha. <laughs> Alright, so commission rate is 7.5%, so 0.075. The amount of sales is 960. Onya amount of draw is 8,000, meaning ang iya cash advance is 8,000. To determine the amount of commission owed to Febby, we need to find the amount of commission and deducted this draw against commission. So the commission now will become uh, 0.75 times 246,000. It's equal to 18,450. Okay, so the commission would be 18,450 minus the 8,000 nga iya amount of draw. So naapay daw ito nun si Febby nga 10,450. So wala siya'y utang sa company. Instead, naapa siya'y kuha unun. No, naapa siya'y kuha unun nga 10,450. So di ba, yung anak makamotivate kung commission-based ang inyo sweldo. Pero mas nindot dito dito siya kung naa na kay sweldo daan bisag wala kay sales. <laughs> kay delikado wala kay tinda so wala kay sweldo. <laughs> right, so references. Oo, uh, uh, so these are our references. And then uh, thank you so much no for uh, joining me here. So that's all for today. We are done with our discussion. Thank you so much for joining me until uh, 5. O sa juta ka oras, sakto-sakto lang, Jod. So I hope nga naamoy na katunan. Labi na sakto mga mag-put up o nag-put up na sa ilang mga gagmay ng mga negosyo. So again, you have to consider first your operating expenses, your capital, your cost expenses before marking up and before marking down your goods. And if you are planning to apply for a job sa mga commission-based ng mga trabaho, I guess you have to choose uh, sa mga company or mga agencies ng mga hatag ninyo. Makasiguraduan no, kung asa ka makakuha og sweldo. Pero that's one way mang to motivate you to work harder and harder, di ba? So, mga na siya, mga the more you, ano, oh, the more kang uh, ma-sales ni mo, then tako po kag makuha. Alright, so uh, before tama na milit, no, allow me to greet happy, happy birthday sa tanang mga nag-birthday karon. Alright, so happy, happy birthday to Lonnie, no, to Shentaro Dihaas sa Plaridel, 
to uh, Colonel Innocente Tudio na diha sa Inupakan, to Aliza Raconday, Marisa Barbosa, Janice Dimco, Chanel, uh, Chanel Marie Alimania, Mera Mar Lames, Renny Soria, Robinsil Atilio, Jules Ostero, and Luz Rabia. Happy birthday also to my uh, former colleague no, sa Department of Mathematics and Physics, si Ma'am Lidja Prisbetero. Happy birthday to you, ma'am. Thank you so much also sa mga nag-join no, sa ito uh, live streaming or live stream na to. Thank you, thank you so much. You can, uh, sa ito mga kasyentihan nga wala naka-join, uh, naka-save ni siya, pwede mo ma-play, no, ma-replay ni ninyo. Listen to the music, see the sights you see. We get a very scenic university. Alright, so uh, it's time for me to say bye-bye uh, Next week, Monday po hon, 4 to 5 in the afternoon Magkita-kita na po tisa, kita sa lain nga uh, topic no? Sa ato discussion Special thanks to the Information and Communications Technology Management Center uh, For Norman Villas and DYDC Technicians Luis Prado and Arnel Gosela On behalf of the DYDC Station Manager Dr. Christina A. Gabrillo And Radio Engineer Shanville Gonzalo This has been your host Sir Raymond Saying bye for now Happy weekend, happy Friday Enjoy your weekend mga ka-DYDC And magkita-kita Thank you, thank you And bye-bye University Sing with us a song, be a true